Revelation 2438, from the 6th of August 1942. Divine Wisdom World Knowledge Man does not pay attention to divine wisdom if it is offered to him, but he accepts worldly knowledge without doubt and thereby reveals that he is more attached to the world than to God. For a person who truly loves God, who strives for the eternal deity with all his senses, is not satisfied with the knowledge the world offers him. It leaves him unsolved the great questions which fill him and which can only be answered by the one to whom nothing is alien. About man's relationship to God, about the purpose and meaning of creation, about the beginning and goal of all creatures. These questions can indeed also be answered by people, by worldly wise men, but they will never be able to substantiate their views, they will only conjecture and draw conclusions, which, however, always arise from purely worldly thinking and deviate greatly from the pure truth. And neither the questioner nor the answerer will be convinced to know the absolute truth. But if the human being is distant from God he will be satisfied by the answer of a worldly wise man, for this will agree with him and be more acceptable to him than divine wisdom. And thus only those people will profess the latter who are in close union with God to whom the eternal deity has already come closer through loving activity and who therefore also recognize what is of divine or human origin. These people are knowledgeable because they are fully convinced that they stand in truth, and their knowledge is not piecemeal but completely coherent and complementary. Worldly knowledge, however, will assert itself because it is regarded as authoritative by the majority. Whereas spiritual knowledge has little appeal and the unbelieving person who is distant from God lacks the gift of judgment, consequently he cannot affirm anything he does not understand. The knower, however, should take this incapable state into account, he should patiently try to pass on the pure truth, he should advocate it and not allow himself to be deterred if success is not immediately noticeable for God's love gives the human being many opportunities to come to realization, and suddenly this realization can come to him that he will then very well feel the truth as such and no longer resist accepting it. For whatever the worldly wise offer him will only ever be inadequate piecemeal and cannot permanently satisfy a serious thinker. For only the pure truth allows the human being to pause in his search, and as soon as he has found it he perseveres with it because he now knows that he stands in the truth. Amen.